Okay, we finally have the accessory plates in production and available. Um, right now they're not on our website. We hope to get them up on our website within a couple of weeks. Uh, but if you are interested in them prior to that, we can, uh, we can run your order through manually. You would just need to go ahead and send us an email uh, via our contact page on our website. Uh, but what we do have is we have the boil plate accessory and the grill plate accessory. So I'm just going to review real fast uh, the different ways that you can use these accessories. Um, once again, you want to be able to put this in its position with the firebox hot. So we do have the slots in the sides so that you could set that in place using your fire sticks. And once you have the one side set in, you, you do the side that doesn't have the cutout in first, and then you would go ahead and do the cutout side next, and you just kind of pry that just a little bit to, to spread it, and then let it snap down into its position. And once it's down in, it actually has some little tabs here that lock it into place. So that's nice and solid now. So then to use it to, as a boil plate for your cups, you would slide these in directly underneath your wind damper. And then uh, the cups that we have tested with it to make sure they fit are the GSI cup. Okay, and I'll go ahead and, and go through all of these. This is the GSI cup, and it fits in there, you know, quite nicely. This is the Ollie Camp cup. Now I like the Ollie Camp cup because it does have the markings on the side so you can tell how much water you have in it or, or liquid or whatever else up to 16 ounces. So that's an 18 ounce cup. It's fully polished inside and out. Really nice cup. Uh, and it fits in this just a little bit looser. It's the tightest fitting in the Nalgene bottle. If you put a Nalgene bottle in there it is just a perfect, absolute perfect fit. It couldn't be any tighter. So I, I really like that nice tight fit and the handles on the Ollie Camp cup are slightly higher than they are on the GSI cup. The GSI cup's handles are still high enough that they clear these sides and everything works just fine. Um, but also the Ollie Camp cup is slightly taller. I had one yet but the Trek 700 fits in there as well. And it's a nice titanium cup but the handles are low enough that they will hold one side up slightly and the other side will come down and and touch on the on the fire sticks you know so not a deal killer but not a but not an absolute perfect fit either um, but the titanium cup does have this awesome little lid that makes it really easy if you need to strain the water off your pasta or or whatever else that way I, I kind of like having a lid just because it speeds up the whole process a little bit. So I really like that. But I think probably the ultimate cup for me would be the Ollie Cup, the Ollie Camp Cup. So those are the three cups that we have tested it with and have made sure that they work with. Um, I would imagine that the Vargo Cup will probably fit in there as well if it's one that is made to kind of fit over the Nalgene bottle. Unless it's bigger than this Trek 700. Um, you know, because this is a fairly tight fit here. There's not, there's not very much extra space there at all. Okay, so that's the boil plate and how you'd want to use that. And then we also have the uh, the grill plate that you'd put it in the same way. You use that little half round to pop it into its position, and then it's locked in then you wouldn't want these sticks in here for grilling. Um, but you can see when you do have that in place that the wind damper closes up and it's a nice tight fit there. So you can really kind of contain your heat from your hot coals and do some really nice grilling with that. Now one other thing that you would be able to do with this is you would be able to actually slide your um, ash pan over the top of your grill plate. Now this covers up the little half round cutout, so it might be a little more challenging getting it into position if everything's hot. 
you know, you'd have to be really careful about how you did that. But this gives you the ability to snap this on here like that. And then you could do a grilled cheese sandwich or, you know, something that something that would work with this configuration like that. Um, and then this also gives you the ability to invert the whole firebox uh, because this does create a tray down here on the bottom and you can see the the tabs hold that into position so what you could do at this point is turn this whole thing upside down and then let the fire grate fall down and then you can see that kind of creates a tray down there but you you would need to have it set up on some kind of platform like this. This is about an inch and a half tall and then that allows you to use it as a side feed stove. So then you would run your sticks up through like this. But you want them to go up on an angle so that you can open your wind damper and allow the combustion air to go in directly underneath where that fire is going to be taking place. So that's how you put it into that uh, into the side feed configuration. Now the side feed doesn't produce nearly as much heat as its regular conventional um, burning position, you know, the upright position. Um, but it is more efficient on fuel and if you're doing some cooking rather than boiling and you don't need a real high heat, uh, then it works really well. Okay, so we have that. And the, another thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, people are are asking for an extra set of fire sticks because they're finding themselves wanting to use a alcohol stove wanting to use an alcohol stove with their firebox and so they're setting their alcohol stove up you know somewhere in this position or something and then they have a small pot you know or a cup or something and they don't have these to make the small burner so you know what what I would really recommend is you can just use some tent stakes in that position and then that frees up your fire sticks to be used up here in the small pot position and this would work best you know this would work well if you're uh, if you're using a pot that's that's small but it's too big to fit in between the side plates so that would make a nice stable footing for a, a small uh, you know boy scout pot like that um, but if you have a pot that will actually fit down in what i would recommend is don't use the tent stakes or extra fire sticks but rather put your alcohol stove or your sterno can or whatever it happens to be you could put it all the way down onto the fire grate all the way down on the bottom and then you can run your fire sticks through at the appropriate height. You know, you need about an inch of head space, maybe an inch and a half on an alcohol stove. And then you could run your cup. At that point, you can run your cup down in and use it that direction. And that way you don't need an extra set of sticks. So depending upon what you're doing, um, you may need an extra set of sticks. And we are planning on offering uh, extra sticks on the website. I think that kind of covers everything I wanted to hit with this video. So I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Run my fire sticks through. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.